Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Grief Drums, and today we're going to take a look at 30 tips for the cocktail and bar defense over on Cafe. For those of you that aren't aware, I stream over on Twitch three days a week on Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays from 8 p.m. GMT, or alternatively, you can follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with everything that's going on with the channel. Now, this video, as I say, is going to consist of 30 different tips, and these are going to range from really basic, obvious stuff from like fairly simple site setups through to slightly more advanced stuff that you may see in higher tiered games from sort of plat one and above. But without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. The floor directly under the newest hatch to be uh, added into the game is all destructible. Because of this, you can actually play it from below. And a lot of teams like to play with a nitro cell down here, place it up on here. And then the second that someone drops in, blow it up and go ahead and kill them. Sometimes getting two or even three people. This hatch can also be contested from down here. Although it's a little bit risky to do as you can't aim all the way up. But sometimes you'll go ahead and catch people out if they're dropping in. By playing just next to the new hatch as a defender and aiming up at this section just here, you're very often going to catch people out as and when they open this up by just putting a couple of rounds into them and falling away. The two most common default plant spots for this site are this section just next to the cabinet or alternatively this section just next to this long bar. Both of these provide ample cover as long as you have the relevant control of the site. With that in mind, a lot of teams like to shoot out this cabinet so that it destroys any soft cover that the attackers may have and it also gives a good line of sight for the defenders. If you want to really easily open up any of these cabinets, you can take an Oryx. Oryx actually destroys them just by Rima dashing into them, and he doesn't take any damage from it whatsoever. The next cabinet along inside of the bar is actually a power play position. By coming over to here, punching a few holes into this section just here, you can actually get a really cheeky line of sight into the cigar shop, in which anyone that's crossing can just get their head taken off. And it also allows you to take people's head off just as they peek over the top of the skylight, without them being able to see you as long as you don't stray too far back. By reinforcing the wall just behind you and by opening up a small rotate, it does allow you a get out of jail card should you need to fall back. Or alternatively, by moving over to this section just here, you are covered from this window, you are covered from this window, and you can also contest onto brown stairs from this section or alternatively, the east door. With the protection of the reinforced wall just in front of you, a lot of maestro players or echo players like to play back from the safety of the cocktail lounge. By opening a line of sight up from here, you can actually contest through onto the lumber area. If you actually want to risk the crossing of Heaven Balcony, you can come over into this corner just here and play on cocktail, and you can actually contest under the new hatch from relative safety. This is kind of risky. It's good for early picks, but I wouldn't stay here for an extended period of time because as soon as they know you're here, you're going to get pre-fired to high hell. And quite frankly, there's not a massive amount of ways to get out of that situation. By shotgunning open a section of this wall just here to the left in Cocktail Lounge, you can actually play on top of the desk and you can hold various angles into Cigar Shop or onto Default Plant. If you're playing a smoke, you can also utilize this to go ahead and send the smoke canisters over to the respective section in order to deny any plants. Most teams like to put a rotate hole just over here so that it can allow the movement into the freezer without being too exposed to the skylight. This can also allow you to contest into different areas of the map, especially when both of these walls are reinforced. And again, with the bars, it's pretty handy to open up certain lines of sight so that you can contest the default plants. From inside of the bar back store, you can actually go ahead and open up sections of the floor, which will give you a line of sight down onto the white stairs. I'll go ahead and put some bullets down there so you can see exactly where these are falling to. But this can help give you an early warning should someone decide to rush up these stairs early round. The corner dubbed as Pixel inside of the cigar lounge can actually have the bench punched out. This allows you to sit further into cover and to actually stay more hidden. And by destroying this as well, this suitcase, you can actually stay hidden from the windows, yet still cause a bit of a nuisance inside of this site. Lots of teams like to play a shield just over here, coupled up with Jaeger ADSs and one my magnets that are placed a bit further out. Although you do need to be careful not to put those next to each other as they will cancel each other out now as of the new season. If you're having a hard time clearing someone off of the pixel area, by rappelling down to this window just here and staying upside down, shoot a couple of bullets into the top corner, and you can actually go ahead and see all of that area of the map just there. If you're playing inside a cigar lounge and you are willing to risk it against the south windows, you can actually play just behind this mini bar here and you can look onto the red stairs, 
as soon as they open this wall up. By playing behind here, you are actually pretty well hidden, certainly if you play this kind of a hole and not this kind, because it stands out too much. But by punching the right-hand side, you're going to line up anyone that's moving around on top of those stairs and just catch them out. You also can't be seen from this window just here. The only place you can get killed from is this window on the south side. By lying down inside of the cocktail lounge, coming over towards this left-hand panel that we previously put the smoke grenade through, you can actually go ahead and punch a small section of it out and look up to the skylight. And you can hold a really nasty angle just up onto the skylight just there. That is the corner of it. I'll put some bullets over there so you can see what we're shooting. In fact, we'll go ahead and open it right up so you can see exactly where we're looking at. But you can hold a really nasty angle onto this skylight. Anyone that sticks their head on there is going to get a nasty headache. All of the windows on the third floor can actually be prepped on the east side so that you can jump out of them. By punching them twice, it allows you to vault out and shoot anyone that's out here with a reasonably quick getaway of coming back in through the reading door. The skylight can be contested from reading room by going ahead and opening up this section just here inside of the reading room over on the north side. You can look onto the skylight itself anyone stick their head too far up you can go ahead and take them out from here and again you are reasonably well hidden this little box area is actually destructible and because of that again we come back to the punch holes you can create punch holes that look all the way through to freezer or alternatively you can send this the other way you can open this up and you can contest from the freezer all the way through to the cigar shop Thanks to a recent update a few seasons ago, you can now shoot the speakers inside of the cigar lounge, which will go ahead and shut them up so you can hear the audio that's going on around you. With the floor being destructible just next to the mini bar, you can shoot this out to actually contest down onto the windows that come into the floor below. A reasonably common spawn peek out onto the Christmas shop side is by punching a section of the window out and standing on top of the bar. You stay reasonably well hidden until they've given up looking for you. Once you hear this camera go, all you have to do is wait for that person to come running around the corner and pop them in the head. The same can be said for the left-hand set of windows. You can contest down onto the Christmas shops, knowing that they are going to come around this section just here. Putting smoke cannons down on the shelf inside of the freezer can actually go ahead and permeate through the wall, which can slow any pushes that are coming down towards the lumber area. Jumping a drone up onto the couch and then onto the uh, cabinet itself can actually give a really good line of sight into both of the bomb sites and the majority of this top floor. Should either white or red stairs be muted off and you can't get your drone up to the top floor, you can move into the pillar section, jump up onto this steel plate just here, turn 90 degrees to your left and jump even further up. With a bit of drone parkour, you can get your drone into a pretty cheeky spot that most people aren't going to be looking for. When rappelling on the north side to get up to the building, if you move all the way over to the left, and shoot out a section of this window aiming up to the top left you can actually look up to the doorway of heaven you can also see just a small section of heaven and i'll go ahead and put a load of bullets down to there and then we'll go onto the drone so you can see exactly whereabouts they are landing they're going all on this wall just here and they're going through this doorway to just here where echo and maestro very often like to sit if you're repelling on the west side of the map looking to contest onto pixel you can actually nade it as sledge without exposing yourself to it should all of the ADSs be burnt. And if Thermite or Ace has opened the wall and anyone is pushing underneath the new hatch for whatever reason, or alternatively up the red stairs, both of these areas can be contested from this window. By moving into the reading room and looking at this section just here, by throwing a grenade that's perfectly cooked or alternatively playing as Ash and Zofia, you can go ahead and take out anyone that is playing inside of that corner just upstairs. None of this section by piano is actually solid. You can shoot through all of it. And if you want to be really toxic and play through bullet holes, you can do exactly that and contest onto the main wall that comes into here. So there you have it. That is 30 tips for the cafe top floor alone. Hopefully you can get something from this video. Hopefully there's a little gem in there that you didn't already know. If you did enjoy the video, please consider hitting that thumbs up as it really does help the channel out. If you don't already, make sure to subscribe. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, Stay reckless and relentless. Uh -huh.